Kessler. Shot clock at 10. Hayward, no. And a hold on Clark. Regardless of what happens to Marquette today, but they don't quit. And the reason they don't quit is because they know all of that. And they recognize that the only way they can prevail is to play together as a team and to play with effort. Stranger things have happened during the course of the game. Fisher looking for help. Redding back to Fisher in the corner. The cut by Clark, but he loses it out of bounds. Good Dominic James. I guess he's an unpaid assistant at this point, but <laughs> he's earning his keep over there. He is he's talking to every single teammate on their way to the game. Yeah, he's got a stake in this, his yep. career. McNeil. Matthews. Got a lot of dribbling by Marquette. McNeil. Got it! A huge shot for Marquette. And how did it come about? Inside out, penetration kick. Quiet day for Dwayne Anderson. Driving on to McNeil. Jumper over him. In and out. Rebound Matthews. He has been strong on the glass today. This is as close as the Golden Eagles have been since early in this game. And good judgment right here. Time and score situation. McNeil off to Matthews. Plenty of time to shoot. Matthews inside working hard. Kept alive by Butler. Gotta be a hell of a ball. It's a foul over the back. Wow. On Dwight Burke. Hands on the ball. 15 foul on Marquette. Reynolds into the front court for the Wildcats. Stokes. And Reynolds running into Burke, and Burke gets called for another foul. Title to the ball, Burke is. Two quick fouls on Dwight Burke. Burke not Ooh, so that's a travel. <laughs> Marquette's got it. Here comes Kubion. Good defense. Stokes got his hands in there, and now a foul going against Cunningham. And what a different team Marquette is in this half. Acker back in. Acker, two huge threes here in the second half. Butler 11 out of 12 from the free throw line. Do you believe it? Marquette is down by two. And just called a foul on Maurice Acker. McNeil threw the media timeout. Can't afford to do it now. A miss by Reynolds. Marquette ball. Possession by possession, point by point, they have fought their way back into this game. McNeil double team turns it over. He's got to know he's double team. Trying to do too much. Great hands by Matthews, loose ball, and there's a foul on Scotty Reynolds. Back to the line. He is 12 out of 13 from the line today. Marquette is 32 of 36. Three and a half to go. A total of five players in the game with four fouls as the lob to Cunningham is good and Nova's up by four. Once again, it's that back screen. Marquette needs to communicate a heck of a lot better so they're not victimized by it. And also the other option for that back screen will be Reynolds or the guard who sets it popping out for the jump shot. Acker looking for Matthews. This is a play Marquette has run often. Acker looking for help right now. Finds McNeil. Back to Acker. Corner three. Maurice Acker. His third three. Filling in for the injured Dominic James. It is a one-point game. And look at those eyes. You talk about intensity right now. He's in this game. This is Marquette basketball. Just keep penetrating and kicking. So you find an open guy instead of forcing it yourself. Well, they've got the ball handlers to do it. Now all you have to do is have the will to share. A block. That's Jimmy Butler. 
The last time Marquette led in this game was at five to four in the opening moments of the game. An unbelievable comeback by the Golden Eagles. Butler is fouled and will go to the line. Head down, not really looking for his teammate. Tie game with 2.13 to go. Marquette with full court pressure in the man. with a quick step into the chest of McNeil who's playing with four fouls. Reynolds gives Villanova the lead. Now in details, you've got to take the baseline away. Scotty Reynolds right-handed. Baseline's on his right hand. you got to take that away make him handle it with his left. Hayward for three. Marquette takes the lead. Eagles cause. Yeah, they, they've stepped up. And they've literally forced Matthews and McNeil to play with him. Reynolds trying to get away from Matthews. Tough off balance shot. Terrific defense. Yep. Matthews with the size and the foot quickness to stay with Scotty Reynolds. And Reynolds couldn't make it to the basket and obviously couldn't shoot over Matthews at 6 5. So Marquette improbably with the ball and the lead with one minute to go in this game down 16 at the half. McNeil's had four fouls forever. They couldn't hit a shot. Missed a three. Rebound Fisher. Nova looking for the lead. Yeah, you got to put pressure on the defense. You can get that jump shot anytime. Yeah. And it's right in front of that bench. So primary ball handlers. Each of them has made some great decisions today. Each of them has forced some shots today. Here is Reynolds. Well, you got plenty of time to get some ball movement. But again, a back screen to get an easy shot. Stokes puts it on the floor, and he travels. Five-second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Any foul is two shots for Marquette. And I think Villanova's defense is good enough right here to put the pressure on to kind of slow down the attack of Marquette. McNeil 72% if he winds up getting fouled. Hey, Reggie Redding got away with one yeah. right there. That, in the middle of the game, that would have been called a foul. As many fouls as have been called. McNeil elevates. Wow. Wow. the ball. They do not have a timeout. A chance to win it here for the Wildcats. Redding's got to be careful. He pushed yeah. off once. After face guarding Reynolds, Dwayne Anderson and Villanova wins. going to be under review it clearly appeared to beat the horn and fans it would be heartbreaking out of his hand with about point eight plenty of time yep you know there's a little bit of a push off with the hand the officials call that Probably incidental contact, but nice drive by Redding right there in the dump to Dwayne Anderson. The drive really made the play right there. As you see, Jarrell McNeil, one of the top defenders in the league, just focused on the ball and forgot about his man. You take a look right here. He was lost. Dwayne Anderson gets the basket. The basket is good. Villanova wins 76 to 75 in a thrilling quarterfinal game.